So I hear you got another science project. Worry not, because I'm Hannah and I'm gonna teach you how to do a calorimetry experiment. The very first step is to measure our fuel. We don't actually have a burner at home because it's long been obsolete, so I used a candle. And it's, it's quite small, about an inch. Oh, we gotta do what we have to do. Because I don't have a weighing scale at home, I'm gonna have to go to a Sari Sari store that has one. Now I got my experiment. Oh, yeah. Wala bitaw ko itin timbangan sa balay ba? Timbangan ako ha. Oh. I sorry sorry. Sige, sab na ko. Mm? Mali! Mano man? Isiro-siro sa anak to. Dili din na siro-siro to. Oo, oh, ano na siya. Ah, ano na siya. Wala lagi. Wala lagi. <laughs> Gaan na kayo siya do. Hindi ko ba? Ten lang. Wala din. Siya makuha. Okay. Mm. Zero, ay, zero point zero Sige. one. Sige. Ten, ten grams. Uh, ay, ten milligrams. <laughs> Gite, salamat te. Eh. Gaan kayo ba? Gaan kayo. Sigite, salamat. It's actually a long walk. But now that I have measured my tiny candle, my tiny candle, we're, I can start with the experiment now. Now we take this improvised calorimeter. A calorimeter is a device used to measure the amount of heat involved in a chemical or physical process. I made this with a paint can. I punched, not me, but my father punched some holes at the bottom so that there's enough oxygen flow and that the burner can burn freely. And then there's this relatively small can, which my father inserted a copper rod so that I can suspend it over the paint can. The paint can will act as an insulator for the burner so that the flames will go directly over the smaller can and there will be little to no heat loss. The experiment calls for cold water and so I prepared a jar of cold water beforehand. Then we get on to the experiment. We have here a lighter. This will be our stick to light up the candle because we're gonna put the candle right inside. Oh wait, there we are. Put a little piece of paper inside so the candles won't have to stick at the bottom. Now, what we have to do is pour the cold water into the can, like so. Oops. Then, then we measure. We use this thermometer to measure. The camera won't focus but you can actually see you can actually see the red line go down. Let's wait a little longer so that we can determine what the real temperature of the water is. So it doesn't look like it's going down anymore. So I assume that this is the temperature of the water. It's 21 degrees Celsius. Then we light our spaghetti. I forgot to say this is actually spaghetti. Now that the candle is all lit up, we put our water and thermometer over it. You gotta be careful though because the thermometer could fall. You're gonna do this for a minute. Wait for it. And look, the temperature is rising. Finally, it focuses. 
It's amazing how you can actually see the temperature go up. And the one minute is up. As you just saw, um, initial temperature is, was at 21 degrees Celsius and the final temperature was at 38 degrees Celsius. In better circumstances, I would repeat the experiment two or three times because it's what a good scientist would do. But unfortunately, I don't want to have to go to the Seri Seri store again and measure the tiny candle on the weighing scale. So it's going to have to do. Now I'm going to teach you how to solve. And here's the formula for the total energy. That's change in heat is equals to the mass of the substance, the heat capacity of water, times the change in heat. And in, in our experiment earlier, assuming that we only used about 1 milligram of the candle, that is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 6 kilograms. And the next, the heat capacity of water is 4 4,184 joules and the final temperature was at 38 degrees Celsius while the initial temperature was at 21 degrees Celsius we multiply that together and the answer to that is how much heat one milligram of paraffin wax can produce so I went ahead and plugged the values in my calculator and this is how much energy one milligram of paraffin wax produced. And that is how it's done.